Hi friends, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. Hey lovely service, how are you doing on this fabulous, fantastic Friday? Are you guys ready for the re weekend? I almost said weekend. <laughs> I'm turning into Elmer Fudd right before your very eyes. Are you guys ready for the weekend? Ready to party? Ready to just slow it down? Maybe you're just gonna stay inside and cuddle a little bit because... Uh, try to stay warm because it's been super, super cool and breezy out. It is chilly, but I love it. <laughs> anyway, I got so excited that it was going to be a be Friday. I did a bad thing last night. I baked. And I don't try to bake anymore because I don't try to eat sweets or anything like that because I really don't enjoy them. But I could not help it. And I made chocolate brownies with walnuts in them. Can you believe it? Oh, they're delicious. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's okay to have a little treat, to have some sugar. I wouldn't do it all the time. And as a matter of fact, I don't really like it all the time. Because, um, I don't know. I don't really love sugar or sweet things. But there will be some times where for some unknown strange reason, I'm craving some sweets. So I'll have something simple. But last night, I chose to bake, and I did. And I had one little piece of a brownie, and that's it. Didn't have any of the rest. Oh, dear. What am I going to do? <laughs> but anyway, it is Friday, and I am so happy that it is, because it is a Fashionista Friday. And I am going to share with you guys another fabulous Fashionista Barbie from the latest Fashionista line. And I am talking about Barbie Fashionista number 122. I love this red-haired beauty. She is so super adorable. Let me pop her open right now. Give you guys a closer look at this beauty queen. Let me see. I got my handy dandy scissors. So this will be easy to clip her out of here. Okay, let's get you out, lovey. Okay, look at her. Okay, I love this doll as soon as I seen her. She is gorgeous. She kind of has green eyes. I think they're green. They kind of look brown. Um, but I love the side parted hair. I love the orange hair, the red hair. It's gorgeous. It's kind of boxy. It needs to be brushed. I love her cute glasses. They are so adorable. I'm a fan of the glasses. Not so much of the purses and all that. I don't care if I never see another Barbie purse in a package ever again. <laughs> But I do love the glasses. They're super, super cute. And this rainbow t-shirt is so adorable. I love the red stitching at the bottom. And I love the red collar. It is so cute. I love that her outfit is two separate pieces. There's the Velcro closure for the shirt. And then there's the one for the skirt. The skirt, I like the skirt with this, surprisingly. Because you guys know how I don't love all the skirts that Barbie is getting I do love the little baby blue jean skirt with this outfit. It is super cute, and it goes together really, really well. Um, and once again, I love that the out the um, pieces are separate, so you can mix and match if you want to with other Barbie fashions. Here are her shoes, these big red platform jellies. That's what they look like. Now, I do love the shoes, but not on this doll. I don't know who puts the outfits with the shoes together. I mean, she's wearing this really cute, casual, adorable outfit. And what is she wearing these for? I mean, come on now. They're cute, but not with this outfit. Um, the outfit that, the shoes that I think that would go cute with this outfit would be like a flat, maybe, maybe like a Vans or a Converse type shoe, but not these, <laughs> these platform stripper jellies. <laughs> maybe if she was going to a party or dancing or something like that, I could see or walking in a runway show. Um, but yeah, not a fan of the shoes. Not a fan of the shoes. Um, I am a fan of the shoes, but not with the outfit. Because I think they're definitely cute and I would match them with something else. But this little t-shirt with the rainbow around it is so cute. I love that so much. Um, I love this face sculpt as well. It's really, really cute. And I just love this doll. I love her face. I love how she doesn't have makeup on. She has, it looks like she just has a natural look on, no makeup, 
and she is just gonna have an easy breezy day hanging out doing her thing not with these heels on though <laughs> girl you don't like those heels do you not with this outfit so she does sit down her skirt's kind of short when she sits down you can almost see her booty and she does not bend at the knee, of course. Everybody knows the fashionistas are not posable. They could just sit down and their arms could move up and out. And she has one bent arm on the side. And I think she is a regular size Barbie. So she's not a tall or petite. She's just regular, which is cool and perfect. I love the skin tone. I thought I was going to switch the body her body with a one that was jointed and posable. But I don't know what I would match her skin tone with because she looks like she's kind of an olive skin doll and I don't know how I would match that up with any current posable Barbie or one from the past because sometimes I get um old Barbies and I use their bodies like the belly button body or any kind of posable body um and I will switch out the fashionista sometimes but I, I really love her skin tone, and she is, it's really, really pretty. So I don't think I'm going to switch her around that much. For the most part, I really, really love this current collection of fashionistas. There's just a couple that I don't really love, and it's not so much the doll. Well, yes, one of them, I like the girl with the green hair, I didn't really love. I loved her outfit, and her face was really, really super adorable. And, um... I'm just not a fan of the regular plain Ken doll here. Like, um, where is he? Right there. See him. Like, I don't care about him anymore. <laughs> Poor Ken. Like, I wish that there wasn't a blonde, regular styled Ken in every fashionista collection because who cares? Let's mix him up a little bit more. How about we get some more you know, boy dolls, different male dolls with different nationalities? Mattel's doing a great job with that now, but I just, you know... I don't want to see blonde and blue-eyed Ken anymore. <laughs> but this little girl, Fashionista 122, is super, super adorable. And I'm so happy I added her to my collection. I found her at Walmart where she was $6 and change. Like I said before, Walmart is the best place to get Fashionistas. I love Target, but Target doesn't seem to keep them in stock as much as... Um, Walmart, so I have to go to Walmart to get my fashionistas. So there you guys go. She's super, super beautiful. Definitely add her to your collection. But, you know, I'm partial because I love redheads and I love brunettes and I love blondes and I love, I love all the hair colors, but I really, really like this Barbie. She's super, super cute. She's really, really fun and she's just adorable. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to this whole week of shows. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a great, fabulous, amazing time. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to tune into my show and watch the crazy dolls I'm going to have on. Although recently I haven't had any doll too crazy. You know what? That's true. Let me get off topic for a minute. Well, actually, I'm staying on, but I have not found any, like, strange dolls to add to my collection lately. Have you guys? Um, I can't think of the last time I've added a strange doll to my collection. Ah, I'm gonna have to go out there and look. Besides this, but she's not really a doll, <laughs> my Wednesday Adams Pop. Wednesday, you're adorable. Although, I would not mind it if she was made into a doll. How cool would that be? An Adams Family doll collection. <gasps> Just the immediate family. I don't really care about Uncle Fester or the grandmother. Oh, but then there's Lurch, and I love him. But anyway, so yeah, I have not found anything strange in a while. But anywho, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun. I will not be with you this weekend, but have a magical Saturday and a magical Sunday. I will be back with you on Magical Monday. We will be in a brand new... Oh, we are in a brand... Happy November 1st! I forgot to say that today. We are in a whole brand new month. So join me on Magical Monday for the first Magical Monday in November and next week, we'll get this party started. I can't believe it's already November. Can you guys believe it's already November? Where did this year go? It's so gone. I'm going to be another year older. 
<laughs> Can we slow it down just a bit? Universe! <laughs> but hopefully you guys are all doing well and have fun this Friday night. Be safe, respect one another, and enjoy this beautiful gift called life. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous Barbie fashionista world, you guys have a magical day, have a magical weekend, and I'll see you on Magical Monday. Bye-bye, guys.